Hey guys, Apollo here, and welcome to a Team Fortress 2 guide. Today I'm going to be talking about how to give some general tips on trading and stuff. How do you trade, and if you're new to trading, I'm just going to give you a little insight to trading. So if you don't know how to trade, you can watch this video. If you know how to trade, you don't have to watch this video. I'm just, you know, talking about it and stuff. So, um, basically, just uh, starting off on the video, um, in the future, if you watch this in the future, some uh, items may not be the same as they currently are right now, 2013, January. So I'm sorry that the price has changed. If they did change, and if you're telling me that they changed, they changed. So um, anyways, one thing that won't change is every item in the game, every weapon that is unique, will always cost one scrap, unless it is brand new, just out of an update, then it'll probably cost a little bit uh, more, maybe a wreck, something. Uh, ish around that and um, you never want to craft your hats just don't craft your hats I don't know why people do it some people do it for fun but you know you don't want to you don't you don't want to do it because it's like uh, a lot of refined and stuff fabricate headgear uh, headgear yeah three ref where you could you every craft hat is cost costs 1.33 ref 1.00 equals one ref 0.33 equals one scrap or no, actually, no, 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 no. 0.33 equals one wreck. Sorry about that. 0.11 equals one scrap. And 0.22 equals two scraps. 0.9 scrap equals one ref. And that's how you basically know what they're doing. So when people say that, so when people say that, like selling hats for 1.33, then you know that it's one refined and one wreck, you know? And if it's 1.66, it's two reclaimed. One reclaimed equals 0.33, and then you can add them up and stuff like that. And three scrap equals one reclaimed. If you didn't know what the prices are. Next we have unusuals. Unusuals, you want to Google unusuals. TF2unusuals.com, usually a great kind of way in. Uh, two websites, I'll include, I'll also do them on the video, show you how to use them and stuff like that. TF2outpost.com and TF2 backpack, no, backpacktf.tf. That's always good. So I will uh, show them to you uh, in a minute. Next, you want to, like, if you're trading, you want to try and get what you want, the cheapest possible you want, and you want to sell it as the highest price that you're able to sell it. For example, I unboxed a Strange Festive Ambassador, and it's worth about 9 keys. It went down in price to 5 keys, because, I don't know, it just did. And I sold it for before it went down in price for a Strange Sapper, a Allfather, and a key, because the guy really wanted my uh, Strange Festive Ambassador. Then I sold my Sapper for 12 keys. That's how you can get profit in your trading and stuff. You know, ev and people will always put in sweets. Unusual, it's usually an unusual trading. It's like, man, I really want this unusual, so I'm going to add in this hat for you, and you can have that hat as well. And you can build up your hats, sell your hats, get more profit and stuff like that. And uh, you want, if you like, when playing the game and you get your uh, items, if you can't sell them, you can sell them for one scrap each. And if you can't do that, you can craft two together to get one scrap, and then you can build up your refined into your refined, and then more refined, and then you can buy keys, and then you can uh, buy whatever you want. You can get a bills hat, sell a bills hat, you know, whatever you want to do. Buds will be 25 keys to 26 keys to 27 keys around that area. That's what buds are. Buds, they're what you would call. Like unusual, like unusuals would be worth one point something buds, maybe one bud, maybe higher. And, uh, you know, you always want to buy your buds and then buy your unusuals with the buds. Or you could just buy, like, pure keys with uh, an unusual if you wanted to. And a build's hat is also eight keys as of now. Maybe going up, a, just a plain, genuine, um, just a plain, genuine uh, build's hat. And uh, you didn't get a Steam message if you thought you did. But anyways, um... Yeah, all these common items worth one scrap each, so if you want to craft it, I mean, one wreck, eternal reward, or you could just find it, I mean, you know, it's up to you. And here's all your smelting and stuff. Now, if you want to trade, you want to go into your, if you're trading, you want to go into servers, you want to go into maps, and you want to type in maps, uh, T or, T or for trade, you want to refresh, stop refresh, fresh. build up all the trade servers, you can bring it, build up your maps. Usually I would recommend trade Minecrafts. Because Minecraft is good. I mean, it's 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 fun to play on, and you know you can. It's fun for trading as well. Or you could do trade plaza. Trade plazas. They're really good as well. You can sort out whatever maps you wanted. You can scroll down, scroll up, and you can go to different servers trying to buy your items, trying to sell your items, build up your items. Trading. It can get very addictive. I remember I got caught in trading for at least three days, non-stop trading, building up all my stuff. Look at all my stuff. This is what I got. Yeah, yeah. All this monies and stuff. 
I'm hopefully going to buy an unusual soon, but anyways, build up it, and then you, oh, I just want to go into this server, and then you're going to click connect. Usually you want to have a server that's uh, higher than like 20 players, more than that, because it's always good to have a lot of players, so it's, you see you're buying stuff. So like, say the new update came out, you could go like, I'm buying the new weapon, like say I'm buying a vaccinator, a lot of people were buying that. You know, you could sell it, and when the update came out, the crates went up to one refined each, so you could sell them for one refined, and you found them randomly, just sold it for a refined, got a free refined, no problem. But yeah, always buy your craft hats, and uh, you want to be careful of what you um, want to buy. Some stranges are also worth, like, one scrap, they, uh, they can also range up to very high prices, especially strange festive, so if you don't have keys, you want to build up into keys, and then try and get your keys. Keys are two euro, so if you're trying to buy games, um, if you're trying to buy games, you can always like two euro. So a game is ten euro. Left 4 Dead, say Left 4 Dead is on sale right now, and it's ten euro. Just pretend you want to buy Left 4 Dead. Someone has it, you buy it for five keys. That's how you do it, because uh, five keys, two euro each. You can buy your keys. You know, you know what I'm saying. So basically, that's how you do it. If you if you wanted to do that and stuff like that. Now. Uh, yeah, so basically you can either type or talk, like saying, I'm buying this, I'm buying that. Now we'll go into the websites on how you not get scammed and stuff. Alright, so here we are, TF2 Outpost, and uh, Backpack TF, and Unusual Hats. All these links uh, to these websites are in the description. This is a trade-serving uh, website where you can buy your stuff and sell stuff. You can check all your prices. See here, you have all oh, this guy wants this many stuff for this many stuff, and this for that. You know what? You know, some people when they put in one, you want to click on it, and then like you can see, look, oh my gosh, he's selling all these stuff for that kind of prices. You know what I'm saying? Like two ref, not not all of that for one ref. So you want to be careful um, with what you're trying to buy and sell and stuff. So if you want to, uh, you want to sign in, you want to buy stuff, you want to sell stuff, it's up to you. And you have, you click on this box here, it'll bring up your backpack. Where don't know. Hang on, let me see. Right, so it'll bring up your backpack. I don't know why it's not bringing up my backpack, but it should. But you know, and then you want to buy all. This, say you have games and stuff. Then you want to click on this box. Say I want a Bill's hat. Click on Bill. Type in Bill. Uh, I will give a game this and that for a Bill's hat. So I'm not actually. I'm not. This is what you could do. You can add notes up here. Type whatever you want. Skadoodle. And then you can click Add Trade, and it'll bump it up to you. And you can also type in. Press in here when on your trade to bump it up after like a couple of minutes have passed to bring it up to the top of the list so that people can uh, see your trade and they'll add you as a friend and then they'll ask you to trade and don't add them if your trade is not available right now you can also turn off your trade by binning all the items that you want turn it off your trade whatever you want to do that's how you get items from random people that will add you you want to be careful of scammers you want to check your reputation and that's pretty much how you use TF2 Outpost in a nutshell Next we have the home backpack TF. Right, so we're going to use the example that I just had. Anger, no caps. Anger is worth one key. It, this website here allows you to check prices for items. It's a good way and guideline. Guideline. You want to take it as a guideline because sometimes some prices can be stupid. Some prices can be not stupid. You want to take it as a guideline to help you buy your stuff and sell your stuff. I usually just go with whatever prices these are on. You know, the if the unusual anger is worth this to that, sometimes it's not. So it'll go down in price. It'll go up in price. The anger is currently worth one key. You want to find? Oh, I want to find. I want to buy this counterfeit billycock hat, but I don't know how much it costs. So I'm going to check it on uh, Backpack TF. Oh, it's it's worth 1.33 when it's uh, clean. When it's dirty, it's worth 0.66. Oh, now I know the price. You want to buy strangers? You type in your strange. You type in or no? You actually first you can type in say I want to buy a homewrecker. The home record, the orange one will be strange, and the dirty one will be the circle thingy here, and this will be the clean. You want to buy one of those, scrap weapon, you know, whatever you want to buy, it's up to you. Uh, let's try one more example. Bills, we'll take the Bills hat. Bills hat currently is now worth 8 keys. Vintage is the blue, it's worth 1.7 to 1.9 buds, and the unusual is the purple one, if you want to check that out let's check Sharmer chapeau sometimes it brings you wanna sometimes see it'll bring up this user for some reason so you wanna just try and go to here and then oh it's worth 2.66 to 3 the unusual version of sunbeams is worth 7.5 to 8.2 so you see not all hats are 1.3 like this one is 
the dirty one is, but this one is worth three ref because it's beautiful. Anyways, next hat you want to see, you want to buy some unusual hatting. This is a good guideline for unusual hat pricing av averages. All these links will be in the description as before. It'll show you all the hats for the class and it'll show you how much they are. So you can see the scout. We'll go to actually down to the spy because I don't know, I just interested in spy unusual Sharma Chapeau. You can see it's 1.2 buds with the masked flies. And then this is how the order of how much what it's worth. These are the effects. One this is the worst, and it'll go up to up to the best masked flies, nuts and bolts, TF2 logo, circling sign piece, purple confetti, green confetti, orbiting planets, bubbled, steaming, smoking, vivid plasma, searing plasma, orbiting heart, orbiting fire, haunted ghost, purple energy, green energy, blizzard, the storm, stormy storms, scorching flames, burning flames, and sunbeams. Ten buds, all this burning team captain, fifty buds, Jesus. You know what I'm saying, Castor and Cost. See, this is one bud. Usually the prices will range from that. So, guys, that's pretty much the video. This is unusual prices, pricing for anything you want, trading. All in the, all in the description for you, and uh, you can take some tips from the previous start of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more Team Fortress 2 added daily. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, goodbye.